Happy rainy Saturday, you guys. Check it out. Super rainy. Probably wondering where we are. We are at the Publix. Tim is at the ATM right now. That's him in his red shirt. We're gonna go see, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Life as Eddie, but he is, um, him and his wife and their kids, they're other YouTubers and they do, similar to like Shay Tarts, where they, they just kind of vlog their family life. It's pretty awesome. They just had a baby and everything. So it's super cute. And he is training to be an MMA fighter. He's like a, I guess you would call like an amateur fighter because this is his first fight, I'm pretty sure. But we're gonna go see him fight at the Roxy. We are on our way, well, after we're done at the ATM, we'll be on our way. We didn't realize that you had to pay for parking. And so I asked him before we were leaving, I was like, do we need anything? I feel like we're forgetting something. And he said, no, no, we have everything we need. And I was like, well, do we have to pay for parking? Because like, probably like most people, we never have cash on us. And a lot of places don't have like the square or like a little payment thing. So you have to have cash and we never do. So I was like, should we run to the ATM? So that's what he's doing. But we are on our way to the fight as soon as we're done with that. Day 57 of rain. There's still no sight of the end anytime soon. This is Life is Eddie's first fight and we're going to see it and this is actually the first time that we've ever been to an MMA fight or any fight at that matter. I was the kid in, in school where I was like oh no a fight guys don't do that come on don't fight. And then I was the girl that was like fight 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 fight. She's like yeah break his face off. <laughs> not really well I guess kind of really but not like in a really violent way just in a like a like I like to be entertained kind of way. Are you not entertained? <laughs> so I know everybody all over the United States has these things called Amber Alerts when there's a, a missing kid or like an active search for a missing child. I was wondering if any other states had these things called Silver Alerts because we got them here in Florida and I'm almost 100% positive that they're like an old person ran away, like a senile old person. <laughs> Yay, Florida! We're so close, we're almost there. Yes. We are. It was kind of cool. There was like a little red flashing light there to let people know that there's a car coming out of that driveway. Oh, I thought it was just to notify that there's a driveway. Could be that too. Either way, pretty cool. Yes, Tim loves technology, but not, not as much as, as you can see. But he still, he still loves, loves technology. technology. Always and forever, right? Always and forever. We gotta watch that movie again. I haven't seen it since it came out. Hot. We drove past the Chipotle and somebody had like tagged it, like graffitied the, the roof of the Chipotle. I don't even know how they got up there. It wasn't even the roof. It was like the side of the building, like hanging off the roof. But like all the way at the top. So I don't know how they did that. That's like some, that's like some ninja skills there. <laughs> they like grabbed a ladder and they like climbed up on a ladder in the middle of the night. Everybody's like, oh, that guy's just cleaning it. It's fine. <laughs> nope, vandalism. Nope, acting. So this is where the fight is, eh? <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. No, just kidding. This is just where we park. It's next to the place because only the hoity-toity people get to park at the club. I guess the people that are valeting it up, which is not us. Google Maps is terrible. They told us to turn down a random street that we weren't supposed to turn down and then it was like, oh wait, turn here. And then we get here and then 15 minutes after we are already parked, it's like, your destination's on the right. And we're like, no, we're here. It's like over there too, it's on the we're... left. Google Maps, go home, you're drunk. That's what we're here for. The place is popping, it's crazy in here. Oh, the sweet embrace of a fighter and his wife. Yeah. That's our guy, Eddie, he's gonna be fighting. Look at all these people with their shirts on for him and everything. Pretty awesome. Look at all these shirts that say it's behind the bartender, but they all say Life is Eddie. Then Nathan WWE is over here too. This is a crazy night. There's the cage. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be ridiculous. My favorite part is all the balloons. Hey, look at that. So wait, where's? The, uh, sorry, this is Eddie. He's fighting. What's up, guys? Right. So where's the guy that you're fighting? On the other side of the big black curtain. Yeah. What's his name? Noel. What? Noel. Noel? Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah. But they try to separate the fighters between like when they're first getting warmed up as far as with a big black curtain, big black sheet of bisqueen. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, man. It's going to be awesome. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to war. Oh, yeah. This is in the bathroom. Okay, so your, your wifey came up. Yeah. How excited are you? I'm super excited. Nervous at the same time, but I have butterflies in my tummy. You know he's he's got this. Come on. I know. I know. He's got this. He's awesome, baby. Oh, you guys are. I love it. I love it. And I love that everybody has the shirts on. 
I think that's fantastic. Let me see the back. I love the back. She's the editor. <laughs> She's so cute. How excited are you? Pretty excited. There's like a guy getting warmed up over there. So yeah. He's like beating up another guy. That's awesome. I'm back. <laughs> oh man, I had to film that whole thing for him. I didn't have to. I, I was like, oh, hey, hey, light. I was, <laughs> I was being nice because he asked me to, so I did it. That camera was heavy. My back hurts now. Oh no. I was like, man, I, might, I would have much rather like been in there fighting because I feel like I would maybe hurt a little bit less. No way. <laughs> I honestly, like, I asked Jenny, I said, you know, do you think you would let him, not let him do another fight, but would you be cool with him fighting another, like, doing another match? She's like, I don't know, we'll see. I don't think I would be okay with you fighting. No, no. I really don't. And the, the announcer's like, who wants to see some blood? And I'm like, blood? Who, what? Yeah, apparently the match before him, there was blood. It was very, like, very little. Oh. It was the kid with the red, the half red and half black hair. He, I, he, something happened to his mouth because that's what they were, that's where the blood was. Oh, okay. But yeah, it wasn't like a ton of blood. And then the big, big guy, which I didn't get to film for you guys because I had a really bad like vantage point, but there was this big, huge guy. And the guy that he was fighting was a lot smaller than him, I thought, but the smaller guy won. 
they were the same weight, but one guy was like six foot four, 200 pounds, 205. That's what their class weight was. He, when you went to the bathroom, that guy, this guy that he was just talking about, lost 20 pounds in one day so that he could be in that weight. 20 pounds? In one day. How do you do? Is that like an enema? I do not have any idea, but uh, can I have that secret? <laughs> 20 pounds. I think day. I'd be willing to do an enema if I would lose 20 pounds. Well, no, I bet you it's all like water weight and stuff like that. Like, like he you, was in the sauna and like he wrapped yeah, himself up like or whatever. Yeah, you do like trash bag runs and stuff like that. Ooh, that sounds not fun. Yeah, and then you're like, you're worn out at the end of that day. Mm. And then you put it all back on the next day. He goes, I lost 20 pounds yesterday. Or he said, I lost 20 pounds the day before. And I don't even feel bad about it. And I was like, why would you feel bad? I would feel bad about that. Why? Well, because, because you're a boy you're, and you like want unhealthy. the weight. Oh, because it's not healthy. Yeah. Well, there's that, I guess. Where are we? We're at the Science Center. Well, too close. Because we are members and we get special privileges, privileges like this. And I told you guys this um, a few weeks back when we came for, not a few weeks back, last week when we came for Blue Man Group, they were having Science Night Live, which was the Adult Science Center thing. Oh, no. Whoa, dude. Hey, calm it down there, buddy. We're here for that, which is exciting because they're going to have adult beverages and delicious food. Yeah. So yum. This is the Science Center with only adults. And look, there's like adults playing all these like video games and stuff like that and like playing with the Pinewood Derby track. This it's is pretty really awesome. Quieter. I know, it's so <laughs> quiet in here. Shh. We're in a library. I know. Who, who do you bet on? I bet on the middle. I bet on the girl on the left. I like she has a sparkly top on in the middle, so I picked her. Oh, I'm glad I didn't pick the guy. He did a terrible job. Oh, oh, oh she did win. <laughs> oh, man. This is the best because it's adults only. There are like, it's, it's Clifford. There's just nothing. It's like a, a desert. It's like a ghost town. Yeah. Yeah, we all use this, please. Yes. Say hi to the snake, Jen. <laughs> hi. Hi. Is that just a garden snake? Now this is an eastern indigo. It's one of our threatened species. Huh. Largest non-venomous snake in North America. Oh, it's not venomous. <laughs> but she eats venomous snakes. Oh wow! I like this. <laughs> yeah. okay, so I'm sorry. Like She's mm. not staying still for you. She's so happy though. Oh yeah, it's video. Are you gonna pet her again? You wanna say hi to her? Sure. It's right here. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, oh. I like how she's in your belt. Uh, I'm <laughs> hey, you know what it is? It's the it's it's adults only, right? Yeah. Let's go and oh, oh it's closed. Cool. We came all the way to the top of the science center of the observatory, which has a telescope in it, but it's closed because it's too cloudy. But we're looking out over downtown. That's downtown Orlando. It's very lovely looking. There it is. I know it's a, probably a little bit blurry, but Bank of America building. Uh. Uh, Wachovia, no, Sunbank building, it's a couple of other things. Our it's city hall, yeah, it's all banks. One of them is a KEL building, which is like an attorney in town. Jen, I found the next movie we're gonna see here. Yay! Yeah. Did you guys know with your membership to the Orlando Science Center, you get to watch free, free IMAX, or not IMAX, free 3D movies, right? Yeah. Look at that when adults make stuff, it's huge. We caught some adults in the, in the Clifford. Are there any adults in here? No. Yay! Science! Science! <laughs> that was a quick little trip off here just to pet a snake, get a quick view of a snake and like... Ride the snake! Ride the snake! I have a feeling that this lighting is going to be terrible. I know, every once it's going to be light. Dark. <laughs> light! Dark. Yeah, we're going to head home now. Whilst driving home on a Friday or Saturday night, Jen and I like playing a game called Drunk or Texting. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, it's somebody texting. Yeah, not eating a popsicle, but texting. I would rather people ate popsicles and drove than texted and drove. Mad band swag. Ooh, these colors actually go really nicely together. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. We got mad band swag. Complimentary color, mad band swag. We watched two episodes of Game of Thrones this morning and we're kind of hooked. And so, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. I was letting Armani lick the popsicle stick when I was done with it because it still had like some fruit syrupy stuff on it. And he's like, I'm going to eat it. I don't know why I thought he wouldn't do that, but he did that. This is probably a really bad idea because it's like 1040, but we're going to try to watch another game of Game or another episode of Game of Thrones. Best idea ever. 
it's the worst idea ever because we have to wake up at, I'm gonna wake up at five, you're gonna wake up at six because annual pass holders get to ride transforms tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we're gonna try to get there early and maybe ride it twice. This is what Tim does. It's, you're totally, no, you were totally in the shot, 100%, right there. Like but a, it wasn't, you had it like but that. you're still in the shot. I know, but I'm like way over here. I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Hey. Yeah, it looks <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Whoops, forgot to say this yesterday, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.